Fresh fish is something that you'll always, well, hopefully, if you're any good at fishing, you'll always catch when you're out camping. So I wanna show you a really simple fresh fish recipe. It, as you can see by the rest of the ingredients in front of me, there's not really much required with this one, which I think is the best kind of camp, camp cooking, is when the recipes are simple, there's not a huge amount required, but the payoff with the flavor is always there. So I've got butter, capers, parsley, lemon and garlic. I'm gonna mix all those together to make a, it's almost a, a flavored butter or a compound butter, but I'm not gonna mix them before I melt the butter. I'm gonna melt the butter and then mix everything together. Then you just fry off your um, fish pieces. I've got flathead, which is, I think, a fantastic fish just for frying simply. And then you, you pour that flavored butter over the top. So a little bit of oil on your pan, pop these on. I've just got a little cast iron uh, bowl here, which I'm gonna melt my butter in. Throw a few knobs of butter in there. And I've just got this on the warming plate. So I don't need to move it. It'll warm up enough there that the butter will melt. And then I can throw all of my flavorings in. And I'll end up with a nicely flavored butter. I've got two cloves of garlic. I want a nice amount of garlic in this. And don't worry about chopping it too fine. Chunky's okay. Sitting in that oil that is the, the melted butter, will extract all the flavor that we want out of this garlic. And it will soften the garlic enough that if you get a, piece, a chunky piece of this garlic, it's not gonna be astringent like it normally would be if you had it raw. Pop that in. Capers I'll leave whole, just want a handful of those. Parsley I'll chop as well. And again, just a rough chop with the parsley. You don't have to shred it. Lemon, I just want the zest. And I might use some of the juice at the end, we'll see. So the zest gives you all of the flavor of lemon without the acidity, which is what I want at this point. If I find the sauce is a little bit too cloying or a little bit too fatty, then I'll add some of the juice as well to try and break through that but I am after a nice, rich, intense sauce, which is what I'll get from just the butter and the lemon zest. So the zest of one lemon. And then a good pinch of salt. These pieces of fish will take about six minutes to cook. By then, our butter will have melted. All our herbs and capers and lemon will have come together and we'll be ready to go. So from start to finish, this dish, because you can put the, the butter together while the fish is cooking, in 10 minutes time, from start to finish, you'll have a dish ready to eat. A little seasoning on the fish, and they're pretty much ready to turn. Just want to add a little bit of lemon juice to that. Maybe just a cheek to start with. We have the saltiness of the capers, which is gonna help, but don't want it to be too buttery. Yeah, I reckon I'll need that other cheek. So one more cheek. And now, we're ready to plate. So fish can come off. sauce or a dressing, probably more so a dressing than anything else. That's it. So really, really simple fish. You could have that with some crusty bread, some sourdough, 
Um, anything that's going to help mop up all those juices and that little sauce you've created. I'll give it a try. Oh. Yum. Yeah.